Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a normal map in GIMP. Alright, first off you're going to need a plugin. I'm going to give you a link to this in the description so check that out below so you can download it. Alright, and once you download it, extract the file. Um, it, no, oh sorry. Um, you might make sure it's the right one for your operating system. I'm on Windows uh, 64 bit so I downloaded that. Um I think I'm not sure that might be for Linux. Don't know. Don't know what tires so that might be. Um 32 bit. Alright, cool. Uh, that's out of the way. Extract the folder after you downloaded it. Open it up. Right click on GIMP, properties, open file location, and what we're gonna want to do is click up here, GIMP2. Right. And we're going to want to put um, the all, all these um, DOL into the bin file, okay? And also we've done that. We're going to want to go into lib, GIMP, to well whatever number you got here, and plugins. And we're going to want to drag in the normal map exe. And also we've done that. We get rid of this. So that's out of our way. Uh, if you have GIMP open already, you're gonna have to, I believe, close it and reopen it. So once you open it, you get your um, displacement map. Drag that in there. And now um, you're gonna want to invert the colors because uh, black extrudes out. Let's you want uh, the black bit coming out and the light bit going in. Then keep it like that, but if you want it the way around, what I do so I do go to color invert and that sets that up perfectly right. And you want to go down to map, and you got with the normal map uh, plugin, you have a lot of other uh, additional things you can do bump maps, etc. Uh, what we want at the moment is normal maps, so we're going to normal maps and we can do 3D preview. I always like to put it under the window, but it's a little bit irritating. Alright, and you can't really see much, so up here you can fiddle with all these settings. So, the one we, we're interested in is changing that. You, you can fiddle for it, it kind of softens it up a little bit. Alright, and once you're okay and happy with what, what it looks like in the preview, click OK, and it generates our normal map. Um, the only thing though is you might want to blur, um, it, it depends, Hang on, let me see in. actually it seems like the normal map on here is a little bit better from the one in uh, Photoshop, well, it's a bit of a shock for me, but if you find it too um, sharp and stuff like that, you might want to go over to blur, and blur it um, like that, or you could go up to filters and go into blur, and um, Blur it like that if it's too sharp. So, pretty much go and save that out and then um, open that up in Blender and put it on, on your object. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope um, it helped you and catch you later.